Good night, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Johnny Helpless, of Jason and the Krugers, the greatest band in all the underworld. And I'm here to help you with my new show called Putting Kids to Sleep. This is for all you parents out there that want to take a ride on the harpoon train to Tuna Town. But you can't, because your little bastards don't shut up. So today, I'm going to read a story for you. And you can show it to them while you go in the closet and make out. This book is called, My Mama Says There Aren't Any Zombies, Ghosts, Vampires, Creatures, Demons, Monsters, Fiends, Goblins, or Things. Which doesn't make any sense, because those are all things. But of course, it's your mom saying it, and she doesn't know sh**. I mean, crap. Let's keep it clean for the kids. This book's by Judith Vilost. And uh, here we go. Hope you liked it. <coughs> There's a guy with a spaghetti face, and uh, his eyes are slit up and looks like somebody weird, like a fat chick I dated in middle school. Anyway, it says, my mama says there isn't any mean-eyed monster with long slimy hair and pointy claws going scritchy scratch, scritchy scratch scratch outside my window. But yesterday, my mama said, I couldn't have some cream cheese on my sandwich because she said there wasn't any more. And then, I found the cream cheese under the lettuce in the back of the jello, so sometimes even mamas make mistakes. You see right here? Look, she's all spreading the jelly. She's not even looking. There I am, getting that cream cheese. My mama says that vampire isn't flying over my house with his red and black vampire cape and his vampire foot 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 fangs. I just want to let you know, when somebody says one syllable a lot, like fu fu fu, it means they're scared. That's uh, what the writers call uh, enumeration. It's, it's very poetic, it's important. You know, I know how a lot of people write in and say, Johnny Hopeless, when did you learn to read? Well, I did, but this isn't about me. This is about literature. Can I continue? But how could I believe her when she said my wrinkly tooth would fall out on Thursday and then it stayed in till Sunday after lunch? And once she gave me 19 cents when yo-yos cost a quarter. So sometimes even moms make mistakes. Look at this thing right here. It's like a little splatted Play-Doh or something. It says, on certain nights, when everyone's cozy and sleeping, all of a sudden I hear a thing in the yard. And you know what it says? As it oozes along, it says, Nick. Oh, it says, Nick, I'm coming to get you. My mother says it's not. But that's probably because your parents picked a curfew and they're all buzzkills. Anyway, but when we shopped at the supermarket Friday, my mama told me to carry the bag with the eggs. It's heavy, I said. Too heavy for me. Oh, you can do it, she told me. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. You can, she told me. See, it's real heavy. Little kids falling down. And she's tripping him if you take a close look right here. His mom's a jerk. And that's how they got to be scrambled eggs all over my shoes. And that lady. So sometimes, uh, even mamas make mistakes. You see this old lady? Never trust a lady that looks like that, especially if she's wearing one of those coats with a fox eating itself. It's a symbol of the Illuminati.